Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Wow, can I just say wow? We hit not only just 12,000 subscribers, but 12,100 subscribers. Where did you guys come from? I'm so thankful, thank you so much. To celebrate this, number one, I'm gonna make a fun TikTok and hopefully I'll post it on my little story here on YouTube, as well as I'm doing a giveaway. So some of you guys have just come here to see my update, which I'm gonna get right into that. This is just really, really quick. I'm gonna say thank you so much for subscribing and joining me on my journey and letting me just be me and be real. Um, it's so cool. During this time, I want to give back to you not only because it's a crazy time, but also because I hit 12,000 subscribers and I had no idea that that was going to happen so fast. So thank you so, so, so much. So basically, I'm going to be giving away a $50 gift card to any grocery store of your choice. Sorry, this is going to be... US only. I know it kind of sucks. Maybe when I get a little bit bigger on the YouTubes, I can expand that. So US only. I know that there are different grocery stores in different regions, but to kind of theme it with what's going on right now, I want to give back to you. And I know groceries can be so expensive. So if you have like Eagles, Ingles, I don't know. Uh, there was this one that was like big in Chicago. I don't know which, what it's called. Um, Kroger's. That's my favorite. We have Publix down here. So during this time I want to give back to you guys and say thank you for supporting me and also try to help um, anyone who lost their job or any first responders or essential workers out there with whatever they might need grocery wise all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below how I can get a hold of you don't leave your phone number or address that's weird and kind of creepy leave like email Twitter Instagram email is probably the best but whatever uh, that's all you have to do. Really simple. You can like the video if you want to be nice. The giveaway ends May 15th. So that gives you about like three weeks. It makes me even more motivated to have a lot more of you following me on my journey as well as including me in on your journeys with working out. Anyway, all the rules will be down below and it's really simple. So if you didn't catch it, you could just like look in the description box. But without further ado, let's just get on into this week's update. So starting off, I'm just gonna go through the week and share with you guys what I did workout wise. If you guys didn't know, I have a whole playlist of Chloe Ting's workouts that I pick and choose from and I'm actually kind of sculpting my own workout plan and what every day should look like for myself. Again, this is, could be different for everybody. I don't know your body. I don't live in your body. Um, different workouts probably will suit you better. I have no idea, but this is just what works for me and I really kind of like what I did this week. So I think I'm gonna try to keep up with this schedule. Saturday the 18th, I did the 30 minute workout. This is the full body and the flat abs. I like that because Saturday's kind of like getting back, starting over my week because my weeks when it comes to working out are kind of weird. So Sunday the 19th, I did the 15 minute workout the 11 abs workout and the toned arms workout. I like all of these three together because I feel like they balance each other and they're not long. Moving on to Monday, I did the 2019 shred full body workout. Oh my gosh, this workout kills me every time. Mondays are probably my hardest days that I like really, really push it just because you should just have one of those days that you're like, okay, I'm gonna go all out. There's certain times where I actually had to stop in that workout because it's just so much. And guys, like doing high knees for one minute, I cannot get through it. <laughs> I literally had to stop and just do like the knee taps with my hands. It was so hard. If you do that one, don't feel like you have to get through it all at once because I certainly can't. I'm probably not even close to getting there. Then I did the 11 ab workout, which I don't know how I did that after. I guess I was just in that mood of like, yeah, let's push it. Let's go. Then I added a new workout to my regimen, to my workout routines, um, because let me tell you, this like back fat thing that I have like you know when you put a bra on in the title of the video it is um she put bra bulge and I put that in my notes I forgot to include this in my workout why I started working out video but another reason why I started working out is that when you walk well when I walk I could feel the back fat and I'm just like it grossed me out I need to work on that and when I wear the kick-ass set uh, the workout set with the black leggings. When I wear 
Karen's everyday top it makes me have like a really big back fat roll and I'm just not about that life man like that's embarrassing so I looked up to see if Chloe Ting had a workout for like back fat and then I found her bra bulge one and I added that and it's pretty difficult but I feel it and I'm hoping that I'll see results pretty soon. Tuesday I obviously don't work out it's a work day for me I'm lucky enough to still have a job right now and I don't work out on Tuesdays. Wednesdays I also work but I choose to work out just keep my body Body a little bit you know in the groove of things so I did the 15 minute workout and the love handle workout to help these little guys I'm trying that one's pretty challenging too with the whole like side plank thing Thursday I don't have any footage because I don't work out on Thursdays and then today Friday I did the 30 minute full body workout um, and then I did the bra bulge one again which went pretty well it went a little better I think and then I tried the booty workout. It's like a 10 minute video booty workout and I used my resistance band as you can see in the video and it was pretty good. Um, I've not really worked out my butt like that before but I think it's really good to work out different parts of your body. And I know I don't focus a lot on my legs but I feel like the full body workout's really give my legs enough exercise. My legs have never really been a problem area in my opinion, so I don't really focus on that, but I'm like, okay, let's try the booty workout because you know, I bought these resistance bands, like I kind of want to use them. So I tried using the workout bands and it actually went pretty well. There were some times that I just like had to stop because it was just too much. But that's okay. Now getting into the update parts. I want to say my stretch marks are going away, which is really cool to see. Um, obviously they're still there, but I am seeing a difference, which is really encouraging and I'm happy about that. My back fat is starting to tone up, at least when I wear this bra and when I wear my normal bra, um, I actually feel that it's going away, which is really nice. Again, when I wear the kick-ass workout set, the black set I normally wear. Uh, I have back fat like hardcore and I think it's because of like the band that pushes everything like it's kind of tighter around here so it pushes it down which is not very cool. And then for the past couple days I have felt a lot less bloated which is very encouraging. Like sometimes I feel like so bloated. When I was saying I haven't felt bloated in a couple days these are some pictures to show you. I was not flexing or trying at all, and I'm pretty impressed with how this looks. This sounds weird, but when I breathe in and like suck it in, it can go pretty far. <laughs> that sounds weird, but I don't know. I just see a difference when I like, I don't know. Anyway, it's weird. <laughs> oh, also I wanted to show you this TikTok I made. Obviously, I'm not going to put the sound because I don't want to get copyrighted. But um, this is, a, it's on the screen right now. It's really funny. It has like the old computer like da 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 And then it's like brr and <laughs> my stomach goes out. I don't know. I thought it was funny. Oh my gosh, I forgot to add one of the biggest, biggest updates. I have my right split again, guys. I have had my both my splits almost like my entire life because I used to dance like competitively. I used to dance at school because I went to an art school. So there's not a time in my life that I like didn't have my splits. And then I think it was like when I went to UCF for a couple years. That's a whole other story for another time. But I think I had my splits then and then I lost them. It was so sad, but ever since I started working out, I've always been trying to stretch and everything. The left is still a little uh, not there yet. I was never a lefty at dance, and it took me a little bit longer to get my left split in general when I was a dancer and everything, so it doesn't surprise me. So now getting on into the photos. On the left is Alex last week, and on the right is Alex this week. It's always so fun to see the comparison from the week before. And then here is the side view of that. I don't know if there's a big difference but I definitely feel a huge difference. I think this is the week that I've actually felt probably the best out of all of the weeks. I don't know why. Maybe it's just what I've been eating, I guess. I have no idea, but Alex on the left is last week and Alex on the right is this week. And then my favorite part, obviously, <laughs> Alex on the left is pre-workout Alex and Alex on the right is now. And then here is the side view of that, which is crazy. So anyway, that my friends is going to be pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please enter my giveaway if you want to win a $50 gift card to a grocery store of your choice. 
for me hitting 12,000 subscribers. Not just 12,000, all right? 12,100. What? Mind blowing. I just hit my hand. All right. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.